Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is of the Lux Pineapple Liquid Lipsticks. So, um, Lux Pineapple came out with limited edition liquid lipsticks um, last summer. Not this past summer, but the one before, I think. And they decided to recently relaunch their liquid lipstick line. And they included two new shades. So I thought it would be nice to just review um, their liquid lipsticks and swatch the colors for you guys. Um, I do have a video where I talk about this liquid lipstick and spice that I got last year. Along with some of their other products. And I can link that down below. But I figured I would just do a video dedicated to their liquid lipsticks talking about the formula, lasting power, and all of that good stuff. So, um, as I mentioned, they relaunched their liquid lipsticks. So, they relaunched all the same colors that they had before. There was like a nude pink, a few reds, um, like some brighter pinks. And so, one of the reds is Spice, and that's one of the ones that I have. They also launched two fall shades, and I have them both right here. One is in Stiletto, which is this deep burgundy color that I'm wearing right now. The nude is called Café à Lot, Latte, I don't know how to say it. Um, but yeah, so let's swatch them. I'm going to start off with Spice. Oh, and just in case you've never seen the packaging, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a black cap, and it says Lux Pineapple with a cute little pineapple on it. When you open it up, it has a flat applicator that's kind of like a paddle with product on both sides and the applicator itself is pretty fluffy so it feels very fluffy um, on your lips when you're putting it on these are super creamy they're so nice so this first one right here is spice and it's kind of like an orangey corally red shade is how I would describe it and it's super beautiful um, these go on opaque, they're creamy, they dry down matte, they don't stay glossy looking like some of the matte um, liquid lipsticks that are creamy. I'm going to swatch this nude one next. This one is the Cafe a Lot, or however you say it, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it. It's a beautiful, neutral, slightly kind of warm mid-toned nude. It's so pretty. It's like my perfect nude. I'm an NC 25 to 30. And let's swatch Stiletto last. This last shade is Stiletto and it's a beautiful burgundy shade. It goes on so smooth and opaque. I really really love it. So I've tried out all three. Today is going to be my first day wearing Stiletto all day, but I did try out the Cafe one and Spice, and they both last, the birds are going so crazy outside. They both last super long, um, and I'm sure this one is too. The formula is very consistent when I swatch all of them. So let's dive into the lip swatches now, and then we will talk more about the formula right after. <laughs> opaque and creamy as they go on. They do dry down all the way matte so they are not shiny but they're not a hundred percent transfer proof so they do transfer a little bit. Sorry my hands are super dry but they do transfer a little bit but they're super long lasting. I could wear these easily for six hours and they don't crack, they don't crumble. They're a very moisturizing liquid lipstick. The best way for me to be able to describe these is I would say they are close to the Ofra liquid lipsticks but the Ofra liquid lipsticks not all of them are super opaque. I have some that need more than one layer 
So these are more opaque than the Ofra ones, but they do dry down matte how the Ofra ones do, and they still slightly transfer, but last a super long time without cracking or crumbling. Um, you could also kind of compare them to the ColourPop Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks, but they're less tacky and more matte, and I feel like these last longer than the ColourPop ones. But those are my best ways to describe them and compare them to products that I've already tried. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend these. They are just so comfortable that you don't even feel like you're like wearing a liquid lipstick. And they smell really good. When I first got Spice, I couldn't describe the scent, so I think I said it smells kind of like it wanted to smell like cake, but changed its mind. And it's because I couldn't think of how to describe it, but now that I've used them a lot more, I think the best way to describe the scent is kind of like a buttery vanilla, like maybe a buttercream type of scent. It's not overpowering to where once it's on your lips you can keep smelling it, like the scent dissipates as you put it on. But I noticed that some vanilla flavored liquid lipsticks kind of have a powdery vanilla smell and they still smell good but it just kind of is like a powdery vanilla, kind of like the Melania More Matte Lip Creams or the Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. Um, but these are more of like kind of a creamy vanilla. They smell so good. So let me show you the swatches of them one more time as they are dried down now. As you can see, they're so pretty. So I highly recommend these. I think they did an amazing job on the formula. I will leave their Instagram down below. They have their website linked on their Instagram, I'm pretty sure. But I will leave all their information down below. I really love Lux Pineapple and I've been following them for a long time and I've been using their products the past year. My favorite products from them is obviously their liquid lipsticks and they have a blush called Winter Bloom that's this beautiful nude blush that I use very often, um, especially in the winter time because I like to wear kind of smoky eyes and vampy lips, so I like a nude blush. I highly recommend that too. So guys, that is all for this video. If you have any questions about the formula or anything like that please leave it down in the comments down below so that way I can answer any questions that you may have that I didn't already cover and yeah please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video I do videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays so I will see you guys then and until then have a great day slash night everybody bye